Hey you, welcome back to my channel. I'm really excited for today's video because it's something that I have struggled with so much and I have finally found a solution and I'm so excited to share it. And so I'm going to be sharing the most flattering swimsuits for short torso body shapes. A little bit of background, I have a short torso and the most frustrating thing about shopping for a new swimsuit is the fact that whatever you try on, it never feels like it fits quite right. Until I had the realization that it was my short torso that was causing all of this distortion in my head. So I have eight different types that I'm gonna be sharing and I also have four that I would tend to avoid. With each one, I'll be showing you an affordable option on this side of the screen and a more of a splurge option on this side. Each will be numbered with the corresponding numbers down below in the description box if you want to shop them. The first one I want to show you is a high neck bikini. The reason high neck bikinis work really well for short torsos is that it draws the eye up, which actually elongates this part of your torso and makes the rest of your torso look longer and taller. What makes swimwear especially tricky when styling a short torso is normally we use clothes to camouflage and trick the eye into making us look more proportional. When you're wearing a swimsuit, you really got nothing to hide behind. And so really the key is in the details. One extra detail on this one that I really, really love is how it's strappy all through the middle. By having more skin going up and down, you're going to be elongating your torso even more. And then this next one I wanna just get out of the way because it's really important and it's like a good base foundational one to know for all of them. And that is to look for low rise bikini bottoms. Normally with clothes, I'm like, yeah, you Rock that high rise if you want that high rise. We'll find the right one for you. I have never ever found a high rise bikini bottom that looks good with my short torso. But this fundamental idea is so important. So really listen here. Swimsuits and especially bikinis create blocks on your body, blocks of color, right? You're wearing bikini bottoms and a bikini top or just one big block with a one piece. You want that bottom block to be as light and airy as possible. In other words, you kind of want to show as much skin as possible. And then one more super important point about your bottoms. It's really, really important. Just hang in here with me. I know I've been talking a long time about this. Try to find bikini bottoms that don't have elastic in them. That elastic isn't doing you any favors. It doesn't matter how thin you are, what size you are. That elastic is going to dig into your skin, which is going to make it pucker. And I kind of just touched on this, but yes, I would avoid high rise bikini bottoms, but I would also avoid low cut legs. High rise bottoms just come up way too far and just really highlight how disproportionate you are. I'm sorry. I am disproportionate too. It's okay. Okay. One good cheat I have found when looking for low rise bottoms is does it look almost disproportionately low on the model? Cause then I know it's gonna look just right on me. But then also avoid low leg bikini bottoms because what that does is it cuts you off and adds to that blockish part I was just talking about earlier. Instead, look for high cut legs. That's going to elongate your legs. You're gonna show off what you have. And real quick, if you're liking this video so far, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, welcome. I'm Jules. I do videos every week on fashion style and shopping. I do hours of online shopping and research so that you don't have to. So please make sure to subscribe and click the bell to join our family. So this next one I feel like is somewhat controversial because there's just a camp of people who love it and a camp of people who hate it. I'm personally someone who loves it and that is an underwire bikini top. Part of making your torso look longer is making sure what's on top of your torso stays as far on top of your torso as possible. A really supportive underwire bikini top keeps the girls off your torso and it keeps you showing as much skin as possible when it comes to your torso. That is what's going to be elongating it. If you put fabric or anything on top of it, you're going to be cutting it down. Which leads me into my next thing to avoid, and that is with anything with bandages, or detailing like fringe or anything that goes below the bust line. And full disclosure, I am so guilty of this because there have been so many cute bikinis out there that have like, you know, the ties around the bottom or it's like super strappy, but then you buy it and then you wonder why it doesn't quite fit you the same. And you're like, well, I must be the one who needs to lose weight. And then I think to myself, I'm a size four, like how much weight do I really need to lose? It really messes with your head and body image. And so I would just say to avoid it. But of course, if you love it, then go for it. I'm not here, of course, to tell you what you should and shouldn't wear. I'm just trying to give you my best advice in case you are like me. The next swimsuit I wanna talk about is a one shoulder swimsuit. It's kind of like a high neck, but instead of going to your neck, it goes to the side. I personally think the one shoulder is a really cute look. It's very flattering and it's one of my favorites on this list. And it actually leads me into a one piece that I wanna share with you. One pieces are especially difficult with short torsos because, well, the torso is kind of set. A bikini's nice because you just put on the top, you put on the bottom, and like your torso is what it is. With a one piece, 
you kind of get into the same problems you do with bodysuits. And I have to get a lot of my bodysuits tailored because they're too long. But after a lot of research, this is the style that I think is best for a one piece swimsuit. It has a one shoulder, so it elongates your body, but then it also has a cutout. And I think cutouts are really helpful when it comes to one pieces because it gives you a little bit of flexibility where you can put the bottoms, where you put the top. With swimwear, the more adjustable, the better. I'm also going to include another affordable option here because I think this one is really creative because you can actually tie the two pieces together. So it doesn't matter if you have a long torso or a short torso, you can tie it and it's going to look great either way. But really in general, I would tend to avoid one pieces unless they have cutouts or unless they're super adjustable. This one, despite how cute it is, the band is not going to hit you in the same place that it does on the model. And personally, I think that really sucks because no matter what I do, I will never get that bikini to look on me the same way it looks on her purely because of our body types. And I understand this is not just a short torso thing, but it still sucks. <laughs> the next one I wanna go over is actually a current swimwear trend, which is really exciting because short torsos don't often get like, hey, this trend works for you. But that is mixing and matching your bikini tops and your bikini bottoms. I recommend choosing a top that has interest either in color or pattern so that the interest stays more up here and then keep your bottoms more neutral. Black is usually a good one because it goes with everything. But usually I try to choose a bottom that's more toned down than the top. That way we're again drawing the eye up, we're elongating the body, and we're making ourselves look more proportional. And turns out I accidentally skipped over this next part, so sorry about that. But when it comes to swimsuits, I avoid strapless tops because they really suck at keeping the girls off your torso and can make your torso look shorter. If you have a small chest, then this might not be as big of an issue. Another way to draw the eye up and elongate the torso is to add interest up top through like all the different straps. There are so many different kinds of strappy tops out there, some that are more subtle and some that are just a little more crazy. This is an easy way to add interest up top and still participate in a lot of the trends we talked about avoiding earlier with like the ties and the fringe down below. If you can just make sure that's above your bust line, you're gonna be good to go. And of course, a good basic option is just a really nice halter bikini. I honestly think they look good on anyone. And if you can find one with a tiny bit of interest, like a twist or something, that always helps. Pair it with some low rise bottoms and you're all set. I'm gonna be linking my short torso styling playlist right here. I have done a few videos and I have so many more planned. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. That helps others know that this is helpful too. And of course, if you haven't and you made it this far, then you really should subscribe. It's free. Why wouldn't you? Anyway, thank you so much again, and I'll see you in one of these two videos. Bye!